without further ado, I bring chapter 23, Endings and Beginnings. Dark Destroyer's teeth. I don't want to be Lady of Wen's Ascos. I want to just go home and be Lady of Ascos. She strode across the tile floored room from one gray wall to another, to the other. But you can't, Lucy. Shinario's already told you. There's a snake pit of lords here ready to overthrow whoever you might put in for king. And in five years, you'll You'll have them ready to march and wipe, wipe out the stain of the defeat by Ascos. I know all that, thought Gull. How well do I know that? She stared at the bright wall hanging featuring Wardesh, sending forth the birds. Stared at it as though it were to blame for everything. She whirled on him again. But I don't like it. You know, I'm going to have to be near as bloody as Narnash was, at least for a few years. He nodded. I wish I had something comforting to say. And I'm going to need an heir. Yes, it'll make people feel, more people feel safe, knowing that a success, the succession is, is secure. Is The succession is sure. Won't put an end to all the plotting, but it'll cut down on some. I can't wait to have an heir by myself. I can't have an heir by myself. No, I'll imagine you'll have to look around and... You're not considering me. Ah, finally he sees it. Yes, you. That would put the lords in a fury. I'm not one of them, and they'd never forget. But you are one of them. What? I've made a pro proclamation listing people whose services to me have entitled them to grants of land and favor. And you're one of them. Nope, don't fuss. All the hereditary lords, if you look back in their family history, became lords the same way by giving service to the crown. And just in case you're thinking you were the only excuse for this late, latest proclamation, don't fuss. The rain and maulings of bloody Narnish have left us with a dearth of leaders. Besides, your efforts were worth some reward, wouldn't you say? but you're paying me. Nonsense. Not, the one has nothing to do with the other. And I'll spend most of my time fighting this lord and that because they insult me? Or you'll, you'll make insult... Or will you make insulting your consort a capital offense? You haven't thought it through. Most of my lords are in much the same situation as yourself. Men who, whom I've rewarded with backgrounds not much more noble than your own. What you're likely to find is this lord or that coming to you to have you influence some decision of mine in their favor. Nobody will pick quarrels with someone they might someday have to ask a favor of. That's almost as bad. All that lot fawning over me and me knowing it's only because of my position. So they come to you asking you your favor. You suggest they toss dwar dwarves' bones with you for it? And if I lose, you pay my losses? He rose, his voice going dangerous. Sit down, fool. If you lose, you do just what you said. Mention their case to me. And I make up my mind. And you'll be able to tell me a lot about what the lords are saying. And you'll be able to tell me a lot of what the lords are saying your pet spy this sounds worse and worse you're the one who's making up all the excuses i thought we knew each other a little is life with me such a terrible prospect then despite his objections he looked into the eyes becoming intense with annoyance and realized what the answer was no it isn't shapakalish left before the wedding I regret. There are places I must be. Little tasks for me to do. But I will surely come back from time to time. If only for, for a discussion of philosophy. And you'll be welcome. Will you come to the naming fest of our first child? He smiled. Lady, could I do any less for one who has such regard for the old ways? 
Yes, I will come indeed. And you, young Thoughtful, if you find yourself in need, you know what to do. Sometime I am going to find a moment to discuss old epics with you. As to that, I have a gift for, to you for me. He extended a case, worked with motif or with a motif of stars, of stars, trees, and flowers. This contains tr two scrolls. One is a copy of the original epic in question. The other is a translation of that same epic into common language. And now, farewell, for I must be going. Delphi came tearing into the house, earning a mild reproof. Delphi, you've got the whole outside for rushing around in. He's coming back, Ma, he's coming. Who's coming back, Delphi? He gave her a look full of small boy disgust. Lord Sickleman, of course, Ma. Who else would it be? Oh, that's nice. Don't go pestering him right away. Oh, Ma, I don't have to go anywhere. He's coming up the trail right now, wearing that shirt you made him. Oh. She touched a hand to her hair, then straightened. All trace of bluster gone. He'll like something cool to drink. Go into the kitchen and, fet and ask Valorius to pour some cider. Go along now. You can talk to the Lord in a bit. The sickleman was, in fact, just coming into the yard when she stepped out to greet him. He swung down off his horse and turned to her. The war's over. So I heard. I'd have thought you were going back to your homeland. There wasn't much there. The lady had already promised me land hereabouts, and I believe I'll set settle in Ascos. In the Ascos part of once Ascos, I mean. How nice. And we'll see you from time to time? Oh, for certain, I... His voice trailed away. Come inside. Your scout announced your arrival, so there should be some cider ready. Oh, how is Delphi? Doing fine. He's been expecting you, you know. He's a little young to understand about homelands, so he was quite sure you'd be back. And you weren't? This destroyed her composure. Well, I hoped... I wished... I wanted you to be happy, and it seemed like more likely you'd be happy at home. But you know me. My home is here. Valoria's carrying a tray of, with pitchers and cups, stepped discreetly back into the house. Uh, the archer stepped into the familiar clearing. She was over in front of the house. She was not the one who would run to him with open arms, but as he approached, he noticed that her lips quirked up into a smile. That was something he'd sel seldom seen over the last year. It's all over. I'm back. You're home, she corrected. Um, that was the end for today. Like I said, super, super short. Um, they didn't realize how short it was going to be. I thought there was more, but that's because I apparently printed off more than one chapter and stapled it together. So there wasn't very much there. <laughs> And it could have just wrapped it into yesterday. But that also wouldn't wrap off the uh, the end of the week either. So it kind of worked well for, for me to end off here, even if it is short. And I can talk a little bit about what I'm planning to do for next week. Um, next week, I am going to be starting up a new story. It's also going to be a uh, fantasy story. It's called The Sword and the Rose and I don't know much about it other than it's about a lord trying to trying to take over from he's put in a very precarious position and that's really all I know about it uh, I was asked to read it a long time ago I did begin to read it a bit but kind of was busy doing other things at the time so yeah, um, but that'll be starting starting on Monday. I'll I'll pick up again. Um, it's got it's a longer story. Um, this one only had twenty three chapters. I think this other one has much more. Give me one. It says twenty seven chapters, so a little bit longer. I don't know, and it's hard to judge just by paper alone. <laughs> but 
that'll be the next that'll be the next manuscript that I'll be working I'll be uh, reading through next week so uh, have a good night and I will talk to you again on Monday don't worry they're much longer chapters so I'll see you again on Monday have a good night <laughs>